Number three, we're determining the vertical asymptotes of a function and we're going to separate multiple with a comma. If there's none, we'll enter none. So I'm going to do this algebraically, but we're going to verify with a graph. Okay, so the first thing we take the denominator and we set it equal to zero and solve. So this is a cubic, but there's also an x here. So we're going to take out what's common, and then we're left with x squared minus 9, and then this keeps factoring. So remember we have an x squared with nothing in the middle, so we want two numbers that multiply to negative 9, but add to 0, and that's what we call are perfect squares, negative 3 and positive 3. So factored form is this x, that's a factor, and then x plus 3, x minus 3. And once it's all in nice factored form, we set each factor equal to 0. So x equals 0, you solve that to get negative 3. and then plus 3. So our asymptotes are 0, negative 3, positive 3. So I'm going to graph to verify 5x minus 6 divided by x cubed minus 9x. And I can see the asymptotes right here. Here's negative 3, here's 0, and here's positive 3. Okay, so when we enter that in derivative, they are x equals 0, negative 3, positive 3. Doesn't matter what order.